welcome back to another video. For this video today, you're gonna have to mind the comfies. It is raining outside and I just wanted to be cozy and be real with you guys, not get dressed up just for a vlog. I am staying in my cute cozies and giving you a student nurse essentials video. Some of you may or may not know that I am a student nurse in my final year, which is year three, studying at the University of Cardiff. If you've been with me since day one of starting my YouTube channel, you would have seen one of my videos in the past of me doing a day in the life of a student nurse on placement. I got lots and lots of questions and feedback from that saying, please do more student nurse videos. So here I am today giving you another student nurse video. So recently, TikTok has literally evolved and I have done a lot of TikTok videos on student nurse essentials, what I do in the day of life as a student nurse, lots of videos on nursing and they seem to get a lot of engagement so I thought why not do an essentials video for when I am on placement and to help you guys for when you start your placements or you go on placements and you don't know what to take with you watch this video and you will know. But on YouTube I have done some research and there is not that many videos on student nurse experiences in the UK there are very very few and they are from at least three years ago so I thought I'd jump on and help you guys for those of you who are starting your nursing degree if you're halfway through or wherever you are in your nursing degree I hope this video can help you. When I started my first first ever placement I did not know what to take with me at all whatsoever. I did not know what to keep on me during the shift, what to take in my bag, what the shift was like. I did not know anything and I wish that there was someone out there that could give me a video like this and could tell me exactly what to take with me on placements or tips and tricks of what they do when they're in certain placements. So I thought I'd give my spin on the tips and tricks and essentials that I take with me on a shift on placement. My number one essential to take with you on placement is a good pen and I say good pen because you're going to be writing an awful lot. You're always going to be documenting anything you do for a patient or filling in forms all the time so you definitely need to keep with you a few pens and also nurses tend to come up to you and ask you have you got a spare pen? I like to use the Zebra Grip Pens because they're quite inky, they're nice. Make sure it's black as well. You can't use blue ink in nursing. It's always got to be black. And But these are like not too inky. They're just a nice pen. They don't smudge and they always look nice when you write with them. And they just, it feels nice for me. I also like these pens that I just picked up in Tesco. It's just a nice funky pen to keep on shift with me. So I also like to keep with me some multicoloured pens and highlighters. I tend to take with me a Bic pen which has four different options to swip down on because when you're in handover and you have your handover sheets and you need to make different notes about things or throughout your shifts and you need to say yeah I've given those meds, make yourself tick boxes and lists throughout the day, a different colour pen to stand out from your black is always better so it's more noticeable and you can choose different colours to know what to mention when you hand over to the next set of staff. Definitely get one of these but don't write on documentation with different colours. I also like to keep different colour highlighters on me which are just thin enough and small enough to keep in your pocket. These are the Stablo Swing Cool ones. These are good for highlighting key information on your handovers. Number two on my list of placement essentials is a pocket size notebook. These will become your best friends on placement. If they are the soft ones that can easily like be scrambled up, they can fit in your pocket. Like literally pocket sized notebook fits in your pocket. You can pull it out and just write all your notes throughout the shift that you need to keep remembering. The little bits that you didn't know, write it in your notebook and when you get home, look over it again. Or it's always there, like for safety. So if you need to remember passwords on computers, write it in your little notebook and you will never forget it. Yeah. Just get yourself a nice pocket size notebook. Next up is a non-digital fob watch. You can get these off eBay for like $1.99. They are so, so cheap. But make sure you take them off your scrubs when you put them in the washing machine because they do easily break. So you need to make sure that you get a non-digital fob watch so that you can see the seconds arm tick in. So when you're taking people's respiratory rates and if you need to time anything, you can see exactly to what second you are timing 
in too. So these clip onto your scrubs and they are there all the time just to look at. As easy as it is to just keep your phone in your pocket and use your stopwatch on your phone, it is very unprofessional to bring your phone out on shift. So get yourself a cheap enough fob watch and then you won't have to bring your phone out. Number four on my list is a name badge. So if you're lucky enough, your uni might provide you with name badges or get at an extra cost, you may be able to pick up a name badge from your uni. However, I like to get my own personalised name badge like... Ooh okay never mind i like to get my own personal name badge i got this one off etsy and it literally just says my first name and what i am so it says shannon student nurse because i don't like having my surname on my name badges just for personal privacy really i don't really want my patients to be going and searching me up on facebook trying to add me as a friend or anything like that so i just keep it nice and simple my first name and what i do what my position is what my role is within the nhs a lot of people always come up to me and it's like what's your name what what do you do so when i've been wearing this everyone knows right you're shannon you're a student and then go on so they know who i am which is really handy also not just for patients for staff as well so staff can tell exactly what your role is and what you can and can't do if they know that you're a student so getting a good name badge with your role and just your first name on i highly recommend so next up to go with my name badge i picked up a lanyard you can get these normally from your uni anyway or if you join a union they normally give you like a freebie lanyard Lanyard. but I was sick of seeing the same ones all the time and with COVID and with everything that's going on I just wanted a little bit of inspiration hanging around my neck to tell me to keep on going so this one actually says it's got the rainbows on it and I am obsessed with the Dalmatian prints at the minute too so love this and it says hold on to hope which I absolutely love because sometimes through a shift you think oh my gosh what am I doing here why am I studying to be a nurse and seeing this just makes me realize yeah you've got this some days you get bad days some days you get good days so definitely a bit of inspiration through my shift so that is my lanyard and i just clip my name badge onto it so it's always there i also have my id badge on the bottom so that when you go into hospital people can see exactly who you are and where you're from a name badge is all good and well but you also need your id badge to prove that you're a student so mine has my cardiff uni logo Go my picture and a bit of information about myself so definitely keep your id badges with you at all times as well okay so next up is a pair of nursing scissors i got these off ebay for literally three pound and they are mini enough to keep in your pocket i do recommend though getting the bigger ones as well but the little ones are just as handy they have the soft tip on the end so you don't cut anyone and they're just handy to keep with you at all times but especially if you are on a surgical placement and you are dealing with a lot of wounds and dressings you need a pair of scissors to cut things to cut the bandages and everything to size so this is always handy and you never know when you're on shift when you need one or if your nurse your mentor doesn't have a pair of scissors then it's good to show that you've come prepared and you've got a pair of scissors in your pocket number seven on my essentials list is a pen torch these come in so handy you will always be doing observations always as a student you'll always be doing standard observations and neuro obs and neuro obs require you to shine a torch in patient's eyes to see whether their pupils enlarge or dilate so this is something that you definitely need to invest in. It shows you also the pupil sizes on the side of the pen and the measurements on the back. These are literally about £4 on eBay or Amazon, either one. Very handy to keep on you during your placement because these are something that you don't realise you need until you're in a situation like in A&E, for example, and you need to do so many observations and someone goes to you, right, you do the neuros, and you're like, I haven't got a torch. So you bring out your phone, unprofessional. So get yourself a pen torch. It's got all the measurements on there and it's super handy to keep. 
Next on my essentials list is to 100, 100 million, 10% get yourself a really good diary because you need to write down all your shifts, when your lectures are, whenever you've got something, you need a good diary that you can keep track of everything. A day by day diary that you can note down the times of when you're supposed to be in, certain times you're supposed to do something. A good diary just always keeps you so organised and on track with your placement and your shifts. If you need to do anything for placement, you need to write it down in your diary. You could get a little pocket size one to keep with you at work and then transfer it into a proper one when you get home so that you never forget to do anything or on your breaks, note it down on your phone and then put it in your diary at home. Good diary is always 1 million percent worth it definitely recommend investing in a nice one number nine on my list is to get yourself a little pocket hand sanitizer i have always been one to keep a little hand sanitizer in my pocket pre-covid because sometimes you have to be in clinical situations where you need hand sanitizer to cleanse after doing a certain procedure now with covid you need it even more 10 times more you will be sanitizing your hands so much washing them sanitizing them so i advise you to get yourself a little pocket one with a little clip that you can either clip onto your lanyard on the side of your pocket anywhere just to keep with you and i have personalized my because if you lose it you know that this is yours no one else can pinch it and you can just keep it on you always i got this again off etsy you can get them anywhere ebay people are selling them like on facebook markets just search for a personalized hand sanitizer and these will come up and to go with that the amount of times you will wash and sanitize your hands your hands become so dry and they break down you need to invest in a good hand cream so i at the minute I'm loving the Soap and Glory hand food which really enriches and nourishes my skin on my hands. Sometimes you get home and you get like white dry skin patches on your hands and it's horrible. It's horrible how many times you have to wash your hands and it just breaks your skin down so much so invest in a good hand cream I also like to keep the and other stories hand cream on my desk at home so when I come in I can just quickly lotion up my hands and they stay soft and protected number 10 of my essentials for nursing is a good reflection book I'm sure as a student nurse you know that you need to constantly be doing reflections on how you've practiced how others have practiced around you that have influenced your work anything you see that influences you as a student nurse if it's good if it's bad if it's improvements or something you feel proud of write it down you always need to process reflections as a nurse throughout your career and as a student every few months you have to submit like a 2000 word reflection essay or mini reflections for your degree so purchasing a reflection book is definitely something I recommend. So I got this off an Instagram page called The Happy Planner Company and they have so many different planners on there. They have a diary for student nurses, a diary for paediatric nurses, a diary for mental health nurses, a diary for any healthcare profession and reflective practices lots and lots and lots of different things you can get on there which is amazing for student nurses to help you get through and like the diary stay organized through your degree keep it on you during your shifts because often i find myself thinking oh i'll write that down when i get home and when i get home i've completely forgot what i was going to write down so keep it with you and if at a time you think oh I need to go and write that down. Just say to your mentor or anyone you're with, look, do you mind if I just go and write this down in my reflective diary quickly? I'll be two minutes. I'm sure they will 100% understand because they want the best for you. But next step, from the same company, the Happy Planner Company, I also picked up nursing milestone cards. So if you've seen out there people who have just had babies and they put, I am three months old, I am six months old, today I did this for the first time, today I talked for the first time well this is exactly that but for student nurses i love these because when i get home i can't wait to post a picture of what i did today and you can write on the bottom the date that you've did it and it's good to just look back on when you've qualified what i did and when i did it how long i've been doing that for i'll show you some of the card examples that they've got in here so the cards look like this 
and on the back you are able to write down notes. Well, I was quite late in finding these cards and only found these in my third year so a lot of these cards I have not been able to write when I did things because I had already done them. For example one card says today I removed a cannula for the first time and it looks like this. So you are able to put the date down the bottom of when you did that and write notes on the back of how you did it, where you did it, when you did it, just all the notes that you want to put on there for that, how you felt and I just think these are brilliant. Yeah, just show people what you're doing because some people don't really understand what nurses do so it's good to show others what you're doing on placement for free and also how you've accomplished so many things. So I cannot wait personally to post this one today I qualified that hopefully will be in a few months time and I cannot wait these were a bit on the pricey side but I love them and I just think they're a brilliant encouragement to want to push to do something and they also give you lots of ideas of when you're on placement sometimes you don't know what objectives you want to do when you're there and you don't know exactly what you want to achieve so when you look at these cards you might think I haven't removed a cannula yet so that could be your aim for that placement or that day to remove a cannula. So another essential I recommend you to get is hand warmers. These are lifesavers. I was bought these for Christmas. My mum got me these because how cold it is in the mornings, like even in the summer, it's still really cold at like six o'clock in the morning. When you go and start your car, these are lifesavers and they're rainbows. Go with the complete vibe that's going around right now. And yeah. They're amazing to keep in your pocket in your coat or if you go for a break or if you're someone who smokes and will have to go outside and you put these in your pocket to keep your hands nice and warm, definitely get these. I'm not sure where she got these for me but I'm sure if you just type in rainbow hand warmers or any style hand warmers they will come up. One of the first ever things I bought as being a student nurse was the student nurse handbook and I got this off Amazon and this has also saved my life like through nursing even in assignments i've been able to quote things out of this book and put them into my essays and it's been really really helpful for example it will help you to write assignments it will help you to cope with stress help you to reflect on practice and understand lots of nursing models theories and policies within nursing that you need to know Another good one in this book is medical terminology and nursing jargon, which literally sometimes I think, oh my God, what are people talking about? But when I come back to my book, it helps me understand it. So this is definitely a mess that you need to get to help you through your whole way through your degree in nursing. Another major thing I recommend you get in for your shifts as a student nurse is a mini bottle of oil or perfume or scents you can use not only to smell nice through your shifts but also when you have got to go and do a smelly procedure you will be so thankful to have one of these with you spray a little bit or put a little bit on your finger and rub it underneath your nose and you won't smell anything sometimes it does but it doesn't make it seem so bad when you've got a nice smell on you and then once you've done that procedure you can go and run and spray and then you don't have to worry about smelling bad after the smelly procedure or smelling it on you anymore so definitely get yourself a little bottle or a little tiny tiny bottle that you can keep with you in your pocket so you've always got it you don't have to run off the ward or you don't have to go to your bag to get it so i have the mini victoria secrets and i also like to use the mini rituals collections i love the rituals at the minute but i've used them all i am currently waiting for a restock so definitely have a look at the rituals travel size perfumes they are lovely and oils they help to keep you smelling nice through your shift and in any smelly situations you find yourself in. Actually, I do have the bigger size bottle of the Rituals and the one I love is called Spring Love Happy Fine Body Mist and it actually does what it says. It makes you feel so much more uplifted and happy. I love the Rituals and I love all of the scents and oils. Definitely recommend you go in and have a look at their stuff. Next, I recommend you get in some pocket size sweets. Some mints, not chewing gums because you're not allowed to be seen chewing. But I do recommend you get in either some like mints to suck on or to chew quickly or some little sweets that you can keep in your pocket that you can't eat when you're on shift. But if you want to quickly run to the toilet or go to the break room and have a quick drink and quickly have a sweet, then I definitely recommend 
doing so because sometimes you don't know when your next break is or when the next time you're going to be eating if you're in an emergency department you don't know when you're going to be having break because you don't know what's coming in so definitely i recommend you picking up some sweets just to tie you over until you have your break and if you're feeling a bit peckish like me i'm always feeling peckish keep some sweets in your pocket Another thing I recommend you guys to get as essential for placement is some tape. You will always need tape, just like the scissors. You never know when it's going to come in handy. You can get these in batches or little boxes off eBay for cheap enough. And we use these for dressings to tape literally absolutely anything. They're always handy. You never know when you'll need one. So definitely get one of these. Sometimes you can keep it around your lanyard or keep it in your pocket. Another major, 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 major essential, I probably should have mentioned this first, is a comfy pair of shoes i can't stress this enough how much you need a nice pair of shoes ones that will not give you blisters you can get shoes that literally fit perfectly for you straight away so i definitely recommend you invest in in some nice pair of shoes for nurses they normally cost around 50 60 pound so definitely get yourself a nice pair because when you're on your 12 13 hour shifts you are on your feet all day and I mean all day, you're constantly pacing yourself back and forth, getting medication, getting dressings, getting all the equipment you need, back and forth patients, back and forth taking them to x-rays or different places, you need a good comfortable pair of shoes on your feet. I am obsessed with the Skechers, they are not flattering, they are not sexy or nice looking whatsoever, so prepare yourself for an ugly pair of shoes for your shifts. A lot of people I know like the Clark's shoes which I will show now, but I've never had them before so I can't really comment on whether I like them or I don't, but I love these Skechers workwear shoes. So these, <laughs> prepare yourself for the sexiest pair of shoes you've ever seen. <laughs> Literally, these are my nursing shoes. I have just bought myself a new pair because I love them so much. They are wipeable. Make sure you have ones that are wipeable because when you find yourself in a situation where you cannot get something off your shoes, terrible terrible times so you need to get a nice comfy comfy sole and a nice fit they're quite loose on the heels as well which is nice so you know they won't rub you and a good grip the floors get really really slippery sometimes when any liquids or fluids get on the floor so get yourself a pair of shoes with a good grip so be sure to check with your uni guidelines and requirements on your uniform policy. Ours are black shoes, wipeable, and you can't see your toes. They've got to be up to a certain length. And yeah, got to be all black. So check with your uni on what your requirements are before going and spending £50, £60 pounds on a new pair of shoes and then getting to placement and them telling you that you can't wear them because they're not in with the guidelines. To go along with your nice comfy shoes, you need nice comfy socks. I recommend completely getting compression socks because you're walking so much you need to keep your blood flow going and you can get really swollen ankles swollen feet swollen legs so a good pair of compression socks will stop your feet from hurting too much and will keep the blood flow going around in your feet so I don't really advise going and getting loads of books for your nursing degree. It can become really expensive and your uni normally tends to have a library there which has so many books that you can take out and get so many different variety of ones there. So I don't recommend you going and getting loads, but I do recommend you getting these. So first up is the BNF. This will become your lifesaver during your nursing degree when you're on a ward on a drug round and you hear a name of something and you think oh my gosh what is that i do not know you can quickly run to your bnf or download the bnf app on your phone search it up you can search up different conditions as well and it will tell you any medication or treatments that are linked to that or like a medication and all the conditions that you can have that need that medication so the bnf is definitely something I recommend you get in but 
don't go and spend your money on the BNF. When you're on a placement, if you go to the pharmacy of the hospital and ask them for any out of date BNFs, so you don't have to have the most recent BNF because they're all pretty much the same. So if you go to a pharmacy and ask them, do they have one that you could lend or if you could have, then they should probably give you last year's BNF, which is what I picked up. I have got the September 2018 and March 2019 BNF, which I picked up on my first year of my degree and I have used it ever since and also the app on my phone which the app on your phone will be up to date but this one is pretty much just the same. Next I recommend you get in the Oxford Dictionary of Nursing which has all nursing jargon in, so many different terminology, treatments, medicines, um, conditions, illnesses, everything in your equipment, anything you use in nursing, the terminology of it will be in here and it will give you a definition. The reason why I'd say to get this is not only to keep your knowledge up to date but when you're writing assignments and essays and you really want to use good nursing terminology to increase your marks, get good recognition of your knowledge of nursing, this is definitely a lifesaver and helps you form good essays. Finally, I recommend you get in a good water bottle to keep yourself hydrated through your shift. I used to take just the normal fulvic water bottle, but I never realised how much I was actually drinking and intaking throughout my shift. So I purchased a water bottle from the company Hydrate, which I absolutely love because this tells me exactly when I need to drink. And if I haven't drunk enough, then I need to drink more. You can get cheaper versions of these from B&M, Home Bargains or anything like this. But I really wanted a nude one because I'm obsessed with nudes lately, if you can't tell already. So yeah, so I went for this one. I think it was £10 and it is really, really sturdy. And it comes with the straw cleaners so that you can clean them, especially now with COVID. I like to clean this a lot when I'm on my shifts, when I come home from my shifts because I don't want anything like infectious on my water bottles. So I come home and I use the straw cleaners and everything to make sure that my water bottles are clean. So yeah, get yourself, even if it's not one like this, get yourself a two litre bottle and you know that you've got to drink that throughout your shift because let's face it, you need to stay hydrated on your shift. And that is my nursing essentials video. I hope this helps you for your future or for your degree or for you right now if you're starting placement soon. And if you are, good luck. You will absolutely love it. And yeah, if you did like this, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want more student nurse videos, comment below. I post a lot more student nurse related videos on my TikTok. So go and follow that, which I will show the address to at the end. And don't forget, if you did like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button for future videos. And I hope you're all staying safe and doing well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.